Hey, what's up guys? Reggie's here again on a lovely day in Burton and Kendall, guys. All the cows there chilling out. And the point of the video today is we're heading to the services, Burton and Kendall services, and Volza and the police are working together today in accordance with one and each other and they're pulling drivers, wagons, all sorts, guys. Uh, so I'll disclaim here, today's purpose of the recording is not to have a go at the authorities for doing the right thing. Um, and if you're an uninsured driver, uh, I do not promote that, because especially in today's day and age, we all know that if you don't uh, have insurance on your car, the guys are going to pull you up, they're going to take it off you, so... If you do want to drive today, it's probably best you just get some insurance. And, uh, yeah, you should be left alone. But, just give a message for a lot of people. If they don't know this, a lot of people are getting fully comprehensive cover for their own cars, their own vehicles. And they're thinking they can go straight onto another car that's insured and be third party straight away. No, no. A lot of people are finding out the hard way, guys. And they're getting six points because the small print says no no yeah the small print says fully comprehensive for your own vehicle not to be driven in any other vehicle so guys if that's if you've got a policy and you do that check it out now uh, ring your insurance company yeah so that's one way police are putting six points on people and they're taking cars off the road a lot of people don't go back for the cars some are skint can't afford the compound fee so yeah um in regards to wagon drivers a lot of wagon drivers can't be bothered now you know it, there's that much pressure on the the industry and uh and stuff like that you know it's uh they're making it hard so no wonder there's a driver shortage and i won't say this is solely the reason but you speak to some older guys and they said he can't be bothered with this stuff so anyway guys i'll put it down for now and connect us back up when we get to the services ciao so here we go guys we are on our way to the setup that they've got here on uh currently got a van in position well, yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. So I noticed they're taking up the coach bays to do this. So there we go guys, this is the setup here. Where are you heading for? He said to the man, like he needs to tell him. Like he needs to tell him. But anyway, he'll be shit scared no doubt. Because that's how they operate with people really. So this is the van setup that they've got at Burning Candle. All the computers and everything else. Can I help you? No thanks. So who are you? Pardon? I'm just a member of public, mate. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, just making a video on how uh, the driver's agency works with public and stuff. Really? And who are you working for? Pardon? Who are you working for? Myself. Right, okay. Alright, buddy. Do you not need to ask our permission first? No, because you're in public, you see. Right. Yeah. Sure? You should know this. No, I should. I don't need to know it. Of course you do. Asking you, I'm asking you the question. You're the one making the video. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Right, okay. I don't, because uh, there's, there's two times where it won't become legal, yeah? If I get in your way, so I'm going to make sure that I try not to get in your way. But I've got a right to film in public. Uh, yeah, so it's... I'll just observe from afar. Okay, buddy. So, yeah, guys, we... Um, 
we're just currently waiting for the next vehicles to come in So here we go, this uh, double R257. Now I'll tell you what I did see about five minutes ago. I seen the police uh, constables, uh, they've got police with them today and they just shot out of here like a bat out of hell and um, basically blues in two. So I've got a funny feeling that they didn't stop for the uh, drivers and vehicle standards agency. So yeah, we're gonna, uh, just hang, up, hang about for a while guys and uh, see what comes of all this so ciao <coughs> so yeah guys I believe they reckon that they've got just as much powers as the police, I believe. Morning. Just to stay back a little bit just for your health and safety, alright? Oh, my health and safety's alright, yeah. mate. I'm That's a right, health right. and safety. I just, yeah, I just don't want you to get run over by anybody. No, what do? I'm I've, I've got Ivis. Can you see this? Ivis. I can see that, yeah, but it's, we don't control all the vehicles coming in. You no, see, you don't. So. But you're doing it on a, a coach car park. You've not, you've not blocked it off, you know. I know, we don't. We won't block it off. So I'm gonna look out for my own health and safety. Yeah, Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'm yeah. Don't want you to get hurt. That's all. Oh, I won't be getting hurt. Oh, you're all right. So isn't it funny, guys? When, um, when when they see you filming, they're looking out for your health and safety. So now he's gonna watch for traffic coming through. Cause like you say, this is um this is supposed to be a, a coach parking bay. So if a coach comes in now while they're running their operations. It's, uh, it's one of them, isn't it? So I don't know how to get away with using uh, private property, because this 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 is um, a private company who owns this service station. So um, they just come in, decide they can use it really, don't they? Oh uh, yeah. So chances are, guys, I'm suspecting this guy's probably going to be overweight, and uh, it's a, it's a, it's one of them things, really. It, I could be wrong, but 
a lot of these lads now are driving these little three and a half ton uh, vans they just don't know about the weight that they're carrying and uh, yeah so it's um, it's one of them things with the way these are going now I'd be, I would be tempted just to get, to get rid of your little three and a half tonners if you can do it scaffolding because these guys make their own money really you know so it's one of them things like I say I'm in the game drive for a living but I've got an avenue to get out of it to be fair because it's, it's becoming silly you can't get parked up service services are, are horrendous you know no one has respect for you on the roads what no one won't move out of the way for you so to become an HGV driver it's uh, yeah I think I might go back to site work yeah because this is what you're up against you see uh, now them back wheels don't look like they are you know thingy but it's all about them digital scales isn't it really Hey mate, sorry to be rude. I heard you talking about me then. I was letting me drive now that you're filming, that's all. He doesn't need to know. Well, I think it's a courtesy, yeah. I'm in public, mate, there's no you can I'm, do. I'm not trying to stop you. I just went, when you talk about people and you oh, don't want yeah, them to know, I'll be a bit discreet, all right. I'm the driver now, that's all. Yeah, okay. Do you need any free legal advice, mate, or not? No, no you're all right, buddy. Sound. So, yeah, what that uh, Vosa man tried doing then. He tried letting the driver know I was filming to try and cause some um, a ruckus. 
and um, it was obvious what they were doing. We're in a public space, as as he knows. Are you all right with a guy filming? <laughs> See how pathetic they are, yeah? So it's saying it's 360 kilograms over. So I've got a question to ask him, guys. The question is this. Hey, ladies, you don't know who this uh, service station manager is, do you? Or did he not have one? Yet? Oh, thank you. Oh, brilliant. Hello, sir. Hiya. Are you the manager? No. No. Oh, right. again. oh brilliant. Different manager. Eh? Uh? Different manager. Oh, are you, are you the caretaker manager? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi, hello. How are you? You okay? So, you do manage the service Inside, stations? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, is this a privately owned company? Uh, yeah, well, who are you? Where are you no, no, so what, what I'm asking, uh, I'm a public uh, photographer and um, I noticed there's the, uh, the driver's vehicle standards agency. They're using your coach bays around the side. And uh, I just wondered if they've had permission of the relevant people to use it because. I said, don't think there's many, I don't think there's issues with them. Um, when, when you say, do you mean like wagon driver, uh, truck driver? No, no, so there's uh, basically, do you know Do you know what the, the driver vehicle standards agency is? No. It's, yeah. uh, they're called DBSA and basically what they do, they pull people off the motorway and they direct them into your services, they check over the vehicle to make sure it's roadworthy and stuff like that. But the problem is, they have their own, they're a private company, they're self-funded, so they have their own sites up and down the country. Now, um, I wanted to go down the legal route to find out if they've had permission to use your coach car park to do what I they do. I didn't even notice they were there. Did you not? No. See, that's the thing. It's uh, so. F just thanks, thanks for clarifying that up because, like I say, um, I want to go down the legal route because if they're not, because am I right in saying that if, when you, your coach is coming here? They're supposed to use M base, and the wagons are supposed to use the other base. The HGV, yeah. yeah, I think there's just a bit of an health and safety uh, aspect of the, them using that your coach bears and members of public. Or my side, my regional manager's over here as well. Oh, is it? Uh, Driver Vehicle Standards Agency. Yeah. Working in our coach All right. um, I just wanted to know if they've had permission of uh, the relevant people to. No, I've, that's what I mean. I've not been spoken. No, because what it is, um, it could, it could be a liability. What 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 happens, right? The dri driver vehicle standards agency. They're a private company. They're not governmentally owned. So basically, they're self-funded. So what they have to do, they have to pull vehicles off the motorway, and they check the vehicles over. And if they're on roadworthy, which it's understandable, the jobs, yeah. yeah I've not had it. But the the thing is, uh, th there's an health and safety issue on your car park because you've got um, while they're doing the checks, you've got members of public crossing, coming off coaches and stuff. And um, obviously, I just wanted to know who's given permission to be on the coach car park because I know it's just for coaches. 
and uh, like I say, it's, uh, if I wanted to go down the legal route to find out and so I can put some complaints in and stuff. And if no one's given permission... I've not, they would send an email. I've not had an email. Normally, if they're coming in, they, they Pardon? ask... Pardon? You usually give an email? Yeah, normally they send us an email. Normally they send us an email in advance and ask okay. if they can do it. But all right. The no. Yeah. Yeah. You see what it is, because um, they have got their own depots and um, spots around the UK. What what are allocated to them? Uh, but usually they need permission to use a private property. So, uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for the clar clarity. You know, and uh, have a lovely day. You Take too. care. Enjoy Thank you. Man. See ya. So there we go guys, um, obviously I'm going to approach these now and be having words. <coughs> Excuse me sir, I've just spoke to the regional manager and the site manager, you've not had permission to do this today. No one sent an email to him or anything. Do you know that? It's a private car park, this, you know? Yeah. I, <laughs> shut it, so there we go, guys, yeah? They've not had permission to do what they do. Elf and safety, parking in a private car, car park, what's meant for coaches, and they shut the door on you. How crazy is that, guys? At least get permission before you park here and do what you're doing. Now there's a serious health and safety risk here. You've got members of public walking to and from while they're doing the checks and they've got their own designated sites around the UK. Why are they not using them? You tell me. Just think they can pull up on someone's property and do what they're doing. So there we go guys. No permission granted. So this guy here, he needs to know They've not got permission to do this, mate. Hi. I've just been into the manage management at the thingy. They've not got permission to use this property today. I honestly, mate. So it's illegal what they're doing. Is it? Yes. You can, you can file complaints about this. They have used this car park today. I've just been to the regional manager and I've also just spoke to the site manager of this site and they have said no one has given them permission to come in here and set up in that bay there. They have their own sites for this. Joking it, but I'm, I'm, I can't do it. I oh, know you. I know, but just let you know, mate. You've got a, you've got to question the legalities of everything. They have not got permission to do what they're doing today, and this is what they have their own sites for. Yeah. Do these work for the police? Oh yeah. No, they're, they're their own. That's the thing. They're their own agency. I thought it was the police. No. Like you know, is it not? No, they've no powers. You could have carried on driving. The police would have had to have pulled you. It? That's it. All right. Yeah. They can if they can get the police obviously when you fail to stop. But they ain't got the powers to just stop you. That's up to you if you want to stop. And obviously if they ring the police then the police are going to come. It's so it's a catch 22 anyway. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but it's a joke. I can't believe this. I thought they'd have done things proper and got the permission. And obviously not. Because the manager it's like when the, when the guys set off back in cars, like, right, I'll go and see if I can find another one. Do you know what I mean? It's just like money hungry, they just want to see, like, they probably thought this was over, like, more overloaded than it were. Were, yeah. It's to find on me. Yeah. But it's not, obviously. So has he got you, he's, 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 he's left you with a 10% marker, hasn't he? I heard him say that. So he said you're still within your 10%. Right. So he's let you get someone to come back and get the weight off. Yeah. But to be fair, it's one of them, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it is. If it's it's all the way, it's all right. You got like tight. It's hard to gauge, so yeah, your tires, you know. You, you, I just yeah. advise you. Well, it's, the it's the insides. It's the insides. Oh. So I'm not gonna know. You I always make sure I've got new tires on it. You, and you always do your checks, obviously. Well, like, I, well, I don't do it, but I've got someone who does it for me. Yeah. And obviously, he can't be that good at his job, can he? Because he didn't tell me about it. No. But uh, good All right, mate. You um, you take care, buddy. Yeah. Okay. See you, mate. So there we go guys, drive a vehicle standard agency, 
not even getting permission. Unreal, isn't it? Absolutely unreal. Unreal, guys. So they've left the back doors open here with the engine running. Under engine there. See that there, guys. What's to say now? None of this is an health and safety risk. Huh? Crazy, isn't it? So, look here, guys. This is a bay for a bin, actually. Because you can see the marks there where the row robins usually go. How you doing, buddy? Sorry, you're not be able to put a skip here today. They've took your space. All right, mate. Yeah, take care, buddy. Right guys, I think that'll be me for a while guys, ciao.